Last week I created a video about 17 WooCommerce category page hacks and in this video we added a filter like you see here we added a custom conditional text zoom effect sale percentages and so on so if you're interested then take a look at this video you see on the screen right now I'm gonna put the link to this video in the description also so today we're going to add the quantity selector to the archive page as you see, I'm going to select three, add to cart. It opens up nicely up here, three products in the cart and works like a charm. It's going to take only a couple of minutes to accomplish, although the video itself is it's going to take a little bit longer because I have to show you how to make it work basically with every decent team. So if you're interested, then jump in. So first things first, in order to accomplish all this, we have two options. First. I'm going to give you a code snippet and you're going to paste it on your child team's functions PHP file or another one you're going to go to the plugins add new and search for code snippets plugin this one here it allows you to add all sorts of code snippets in your team and if you switch teams then you're not going to lose them install and activate it and now go to the snippets add new give it the title for example quantity selector on loop pages and now paste this snippet to the code box you don't have to write it down because the link to the blog post which contains the snippets i'm going gonna show you today is in the description of this video okay so only run on site front end save changes and activate refresh and there it is now couple of limitations though at the moment i'm using the bloxy team and it looks very well with the default WooCommerce layout but if I open up the customizer and go to the product archives if I choose a type 2 then it doesn't look as good as it was before because the type 2 overrides a WooCommerce default layout and the same goes with the team you're using if it overrides your WooCommerce default layouts then you have to tweak it with a CSS or something else now let's see how does it work with other teams. So I'm going to go to the snippets. I already added here. This one here is a cadence team. I'm going to refresh it. It's here. Let's select something, add to cart. And as you see, this code snippet is working with a cadence team. But after adding the product to the cart, I'm redirected to the single product page. And this is something I would not like to happen. But okay, let's take a look at other teams. I'm going to activate the Astra team. I'm going to go to the shop page. Select something, for example, two Apple Sheets, add to cart. Same thing happens. I'm going to be redirected to the simple product page. Now I'm going to activate the Ocean WP. Go to the shop page. Choose add to cart. And once again, I'm going to be redirected to the single product page. So let's fix this issue here. I'm going to go to the snippets. I'm going to deactivate this snippet and instead I'm going to use this snippet. So it's a bit different snippet uh, than the one we used before. I'm going to run it only on site front end, save changes and activate. I'm going to go to the appearance teams. Once again, I'm going to activate the Astra team. I'm going to go to the shop page. So let's choose three of those products here well it seems that the ajax is working let's see whether it worked yes three products in the cart i'm gonna delete everything from the cart and test one more time with this product here add to cart view cart looking good now i'm gonna activate the cadence team delete this one from the cart i'm gonna go to the shop so let's add three albums works well with the ajax as you see it opens up let's add three of these products here and also is working so this code is working for sure for astra and cadence team now i'm going to activate the ocean wp i'm going to open it up go to the shop page let's see what happened 
four belts add to cart and as you see we have an issue because only one belt is added to the cart okay let's try with apple sheet four of them and nothing only one was added to the cart therefore this code snippet is not working with the ocean wp team okay let's let's fix it and i'm going to deactivate this snippet and i'm going to add this piece of code here i'm going to save changes and activate now i'm going to go to the cart itself delete everything what's here go to the shop i'm going to add three products to the cart as you see three products were added to the cart but we have a message up here and if we take a look at the url then we see this one here now if i happen to refresh it then it's gonna add another three products to the cart i haven't found a good solution for the ocean wp to fix it therefore if we're using the ocean wp team then this last snippet is working but it has some limitations okay let's add another one here for example generate press which is also a popular team and let's see which of those snippets is working for the generate press okay activate snippets i'm gonna disable the last one and start with the first one which worked for the bloxy team okay it's there add to cart i'm redirected to the product page i don't like that therefore i'm gonna go to the shop page deactivate this one and activate the second snippet i'm gonna refresh it add to cart well it's working so the snippet number two is working for the generate press now let's see whether the snippet number two is working for the bloxy team i'm gonna copy deactivate this one here go to snippets and paste it here save changes and activate go to the shop page now i'm gonna choose three random products for example those here add to cart and as you see we have an issue because only one of them was added to the cart therefore this snippet is not working for the loxy team i'm gonna activate the first one delete something from the cart go to the shop page choose random product add to cart and it's working again so as you saw a bunch of teams and there is no code that works for all of them the snippet number one works very well with a bloxy team snippet number two works well with the astra generate press cadence team and probably any other team and snippet number three is working for the ocean wp it's also working for other teams but as you saw there was an issue that if you refresh the page the products are added to the cart again one more thing it's not working for the variations because we did not add the attributes to the archive page now before you go take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content if you're new to my channel then subscribe to it otherwise press thumbs up and let me know in the comments how did you like the video. Meanwhile, take care.